Hey guys, so today um, we're going to go to a, um, a food shop called Superama. It's actually in this building just here. You can see it's a pretty big building. Um, and inside is actually a, um, like a little mall with like a food court and Superama. So uh, I'm gonna walk in and see you Okay, I'm just gonna walk inside. You can see here they're selling e-bikes. I haven't seen anyone ride them, but they look pretty cool. Um, this is the food court up here. This is the food court, people eating. Let's carry on. Um, the Superama, where we're going to go, is just here. Just on the right side. Um, this is actually owned by Walmart and it's like a, a local shop um, selling pretty much everything and it's really popular so let's walk in all right first of all lots of mexican beer there mm. drinks all the different drinks there fruit this is the, the other side loads of fruit See. Um, we have a pretty good fish section here. You can see here fish and salmon. Just walk through the aisles, you can see. Ah, something I want to show you is tuna fish because in Mexico they have a ridiculous am amount of tuna in different. Um, here we go, I found them in different types so you can see look this is all tuna fish I'm not sure wherever you're from if there are so many varieties of tuna fish but in Mexico there is <laughs> still tuna fish still tuna fish here you go and it costs about 11 pesos for a can which is probably about a dollar or I think maybe a bit less than that um, let's go down here, shall we? Let's have a look. Okay, I'll, I'm going to go to the bread section. All right, we're at the bread section. And in Mexico, they are pretty good bakeries. Loads of fresh bread, loads of cakes. Let's see what we have here. Ah, uh, yeah. I love these. These are called conchas. It's kind of sweet, soft bread. This is churros. I think originally from Spain, but now all over Mexico. Very popular street food as well. Um, what else do we have? Lots of donuts, you can see. And the prices, so six pesos fifty. Um, that's probably about fifty cents US. So not a lot. Um, what else? Now I'm looking for the for the torta bread. So I'm going to get some of these see here um, freshly baked baguettes up here as well I'm just gonna get some torta bread so see you in a minute all right I'm back in less than a minute <laughs> um, so this actually cost me four pesos 80 so five pesos in US dollars probably about 50 cents um, for three big torta bread so that's pretty good that's pretty good um, Let's carry on. All the juices. They do like a bit of cranberry classic juice here. Um, Jumex. So Jumex is, I guess, the national uh, producer of fruit juices. Uh, and a lot of uh, Mexican companies, they always have Mex at the end. So if you think of Telmex, the telecommunications company, Pemex, the uh, petroleum company, Pemex uh, stations all over Mexico, and Del Valle is the other one, the other big brand for, for fruit juices. Um, Boeing as well, Boeing is popular, um, but not as, uh, probably more for kids, probably a lot more sugar in there, I would have thought, but I don't know. Um, let's carry on. Um, what do we have here? Honey, 
Um, we do have different jams, of course. Um, this is pretty good, the Smuckers. I think it's American, I'm not sure. Um, but I guess so. Um, okay, I'm going to look for something. So whilst I look, you can just watch. I'm actually looking for um, Worcester sauce because in Mexico they don't call it Worcester sauce, they, they call it a different name which makes me laugh. Um, but I don't know where it is, so I'll be back in a second. Okay guys, it was actually where the tuna was. Um, so this is Worcester sauce as known in England. But here, it's, it's not uh, focusing. But here it's called Salsa Tipo Inglesa, which is basically English sauce. Um, but it does say Worcestershire at the top. Um, but I thought that, well, that's quite funny for me. Um, let's carry on. All right. Um, another thing Mexicans really like is their jelly. So you can see here, lots of jelly. And the cost is three pesos, which is cheap as chips. And then also in Mexico, which is really popular. In England, it's not so popular. I'm not sure in uh, the, wherever you are, but in Mexico, uh, yogurt drinks are really popular as well. Um, you can see here. Um, see? Actually, I quite like the yogurt drinks. They're nice. Okay, a really important place is the beer. So you can see lots of uh, Mexican beer. So one of my favorites, Modelo Especial. It's really good. Um, then you got you have more lighter beers here, Victoria and Pacifico. Leon, that's a good one. It's a dark beer, Cerveza Negra. Also pretty good. And then the drink, not actually that popular in Mexico. <laughs> Uh, for Mexicans is Corona, known all over the world, but in my experience, a lot of Mexican people don't actually drink that much of it. Um, Badalito. Um, what else? Okay, this is my favorite Mexican beer, or Emia. It's pretty strong, it's about 5.7%. Um, made by a Mexican brewery. Um, and a German style beer, really good. Tecate, Dos X, um, both pretty popular beers. Tecate, especially in the north of Mexico. Um, got Sol down here. Again, very popular in England where I'm from. But look, just uh, one small packet there for all this beer. Not, not that popular in Mexico, in my experience, I might be wrong. Um, over here, the normal, normal soft drinks. Yeah, I think it's worth going back, <laughs> look at more beer because I missed quite a few and I don't, I don't want you to miss the beer types. So here is Indio, another really popular beer in Mexico. Um, usually it's quite, it's quite a dark beer. Um, and then Indio, a new beer they've just released is Indio Pilsner Plata which is um, a pilsner. I've had it and it's, it's okay, but it's, um, it's weaker than pilsners you would get in, in Europe, um, but it's still, it's still pretty good. Um, I think that is everything. Um, yeah. So because of this filming, I forgot to get a basket. So now I have one and I'm back at the tuna because I actually do want to buy tuna. So, which one shall I buy? I usually buy Tuni. Um, I think the name just sells itself to me. So, I'll get it in Agua and I'll get three cans of Tuni. There you go. Put it in the basket. They give you these baskets here. Um, I think it's pretty standard wherever you go in the world. Uh, let's, let's carry on. Okay, as you'd expect, in a Mexican supermarket, there is a pretty good variety 
of frijoles, refried beans. So you can see all the different types. They come in a can, or you can get them in a packet as well, like this. But I never buy this. It's just not something I would buy, but I eat it in um, the restaurants and stuff like that. Um, I prefer my baked beans. But the strange thing is, for a Mexican, baked beans is just as strange for them as refried beans is for an English guy. Um, well, it's not that strange because I'm used to it and we do have it in England, but um, when you tell a Mexican person about baked beans in tomato ketchup, they're just, they freak out. They don't get it at all. Okay, let's carry on. All right. Okay, back to more beer. So they actually have a pretty good selection of imported beer. They have Japanese beer, which I love, Sapporo. Um, have a look. All the different beers. Tiger beer. Guinness, Miller Lite, and that's for the prices, I'll, for my next video I'll remember what the exchange rate is, but about 23 pesos is an English pound, if that's useful for people watching, but I'll check the exchange rate to know in dollars, because I think most people know that. Okay, no Mexican supermarket would be complete without tortillas, um, as you can see here. I remember, tortillas are actually soft, and um, there's a bit of a misunderstanding in England that, um, for example, tacos have to be in a hard, in a hard, um, of hard fried, but that's not true. These are actually called um, tostadas, not tacos. Um, these are the tacos. And these are actually soft. You see? And there's lots of variety of the tostadas and the tortillas. But you usually make tacos with tortillas, not tostadas, if that makes sense. But I'm no expert in Mexican cooking, just eating it. Okay, so now for cheese. In Mexico, cheese is very important and pretty much every dish you have in Mexico, you can have cheese with it. But the cheese is different. Um, queso Oaxaca is probably the most widespread cheese in Mexico. Um, and it's delicious. It's, another video I'll show you what it's like, but it's kind of stringy. You can kind of grab bits off it and it'll come off in strings. And it's, it's so tasty. Um, then you have pan, panela. Queso panela, which is like a soft cheese, um, as in more, um, I don't know how to describe it, I'm not a cheese expert. Um, but there's a lot of panela cheese, actually, a lot of panela cheese, lots of types of panela. There's also a lot of manchego here, although I can't see any right now. Ah, wait, this is actually the um, queso Oaxaca, but in the strings I was talking about, you see? Look at that. So tasty. Um, manchego... Can't see it, which is really strange. Um, let's have a look over here, shall we? Ah, here we go. There you go. There's manchego cheese. That's also pretty popular here. Ah, and up here as well, Manchego. I know that's very, I know that's very popular in around the world. And um, over here is the European cheeses. Usually a lot more expensive, as you'd expect, than the uh, normal Mexican cheeses. That is an expensive cheese. Two hundred and ninety pesos for that. Now twenty-three pesos about is a pound. So that's expensive. That's expensive cheese. Okay, let's carry on. Um, okay, again, no Mexican supermarket would be complete without Doritos Nachos. <laughs> Obviously, it's pretty popular. Um, but in Mexico, you're going to find a lot of other types as well. I'm not sure how it is where you're from. 
if you only have Doritos, but um, here, yeah, there's other types as well, as you can see. Um, over here. These things are really popular, actually. Um, and sometimes you find these tostitos with uh, cheese. You can buy it at little shops now. Especially in the metro, and they'll actually put melted cheese on for you, which is pretty nice. Let's go over here. You have the usual... Um, I guess this is Sabritas is owned by Lay's. It must be the same company. The logo is the same. Um, as you can see, different types for the Mexican market. Limon, because in Mexico, limes are very important. People love limes here. Um, let's go over here. Okay, look at these. This is another brand made by Baracel, which is a big Mexican food company. They make a lot of crisps or chips. And you can see here, jalapeno chips. Um, now these ones here, these are actually um, like red in color because they're so hot and spicy with lime, of course. Um, and over here, more Doritos. Um, ah, they have kettle chips. Yeah. Okay, let's move on, shall we? Yeah, and I also just found um, these special Doritos, which seem to be sponsored by the new Avengers movie. And by what I can tell, they're actually very dark in color. Um, there you go. Movie branding in Mexico. Now in Mexico, you're not really going to find milk which needs to be refrigerated. Um, it's the type of milk where it sits there on the shelf in pretty warm temperatures quite happily. Um, I've got used to it, but I admit when I left England, I I did miss, um, you know, fresh milk. You just expect milk to be to be cold when you buy it, um, but not the case here. Uh, Lala is the uh, the big brand um, for the normal, you know, skimmed, semi-skimmed, full milk. Um, the other one is Alpura. That's the other big brand of milk and yogurts as well. The more but market milk you can buy in Mexico is Santa Clara. There you go. And because Superamo is actually um, owned by Walmart, um, you have the great value milk as well. Okay, anything else to see here? Um, cereals, all the usual cereals as you can imagine. Let's carry on. Okay, what's this, you may ask? Well, this is actually something called chicharron, and it's actually dried pigskin. Um, very popular in Mexico, as you can see. And in fact, in England as well, um, I think pork scratchings is pretty much the same thing. Um, but they don't really sell it in little bags. It's always in these huge, huge bags, just to give you the idea of the scale. Um, you can see like, see like that, it's pretty big. All right, this is where I'm gonna pay. I'm gonna try and find a short line. This looks pretty good. Let's go in here. The usual rubbish to be bought. More rubbish. More rubbish magazines. GQ. Um, Chilango is a Mexican. Uh, see, but see. Um, Chilango is actually a um, a magazine for Mexico City. Chilango actually means someone who um, is uh, someone who lives in the city, but they're not actually from or born in Mexico City. As you can imagine, Mexico City is full of people who have just come from all over the place. Okay, I'm going to get in line now. And just so you can get a better idea of what it looks like outside, um, this is what it looks like outside. Superama. As I said before, this is owned by Walmart. It's like the local uh, store. 
and you usually find it in kind of nicer areas of the city. Um, but to me, supermarkets are all pretty much the same anyway. But so there you go. Um, if you have any questions, comments, please, please write them, and I'll try and respond. And if you like these videos, please subscribe. Thank you.